Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. This is going to be a little impromptu video for me because I got home from the gym this morning and saw a little parcel laying at my door with this in it. I had definitely heard rumors about the mini metal matte palette from Kat Von D, but I just didn't really know when it was going to launch or anything, but here it is in my hands right now. And I'll leave all of the launch dates in the description box below, as well as where you can grab this too. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much just a little look using all of these colors. I'm sure there's a million kazillion swatches and stuff on Instagram. So if you guys want swatches, check out Instagram. I'm just gonna go ahead and do pretty much a first impressions eyeball look and see what we think. So I just have a little bit of e.l.f. eye primer all over my eyeball and I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush and grab this bone color right here. I'm just gonna fluff that all over the upper half of the eyelid just as a little bit of a brow highlight without being too severe. That's why I'm using this nice fluffy brush because if I use a firm brush, this will go on a lot more opaque. Now I was reading a few comments on the trend mood swatches and everyone's like, why the yellow? So let's find out why the yellow. I'm gonna use this as my transition color. I feel like this color was put in here because it would probably look good on most skin tones. So I'm just buffing it with the same big fluffy brush through the upper crease of the eye. I'm liking already how it's just giving a little bit of color without being too extreme. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that color which is called Feather. Now of course when I got the palette obviously I'm very drawn to this color right here, Raw Power, which I smashed mine so I'm super glad that I could get my hands on it again. And it's just a little mini guy which is kind of all you need with these shadows. I think the full size ones of them, they're so big you'd pretty much never go through a whole one unless you're using the Thunderstruck highlight of course. So I'm going to grab this color Velvet on this little Cosette brush and I'm going to start building that up in the crease of the eye. I'm gonna grab this smaller dome shaped brush from OCC and a little more of the velvet right on the tip of it and just use that to blend the crease. I kind of wish there was something in between this color to blend out. That's kind of the thing with these mini palettes is they're mini, so there's not a ton of colors in them. So I would probably use something else as a transition color, but for now, I'm just gonna grab suede and velvet together and just kind of go back and forth and mix them on that brush to create a mid-tone shade between the two. A little bit of that feather color and just blend that all together. Next I'm going to grab that same Cosette brush and a little bit of this velvet color and pop that underneath the eye. I'm just gonna use a little combination of feather and velvet and use that to buff underneath the eyes. I actually really like these colors blended together. I should have used that originally when I was blending out the top of the eye. So definitely a little bit of fallout underneath the eye. I'm just gonna use my Linda Holberg sponge just to dab that away. And then just after you blend that away, make sure you go through and buff in and see that there's no harsh lines. Okay, so now for the fun part, we get to use the Metal Crush. Raw Power and Dose are two of my favorite Metal Crush colors. I bet you can guess why they are in the reddish orange family. And of course, Thunderstruck. Who doesn't love Thunderstruck? It's really good as an inner corner highlight, as a cheek highlight. It's just a really pretty color. So I'm just gonna be taking a flat, firm brush, and I think I'm gonna start with raw power and I'm gonna push that into the brush and then when I'm using it on the eyelids I'm gonna patch that onto the eyelids as well. So we want the most impact out of these colors. Oh I love raw power I forgot how much I love it. Got quite a bit of fallout happening on that cheek there so I would suggest if you're going to use this palette definitely do your foundation after your eyes. Next I'm going to take with the same brush this color here Dose. Just pop it right in the middle of the eye. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a 
sunsetty looking color combination eye and then I'm gonna grab this color here flash just gonna try to blend that into the orange that we already laid down you can already see they're blending into each other so easily I'm gonna grab this little pencil brush and some thunderstruck which is everyone's favorite and then I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corner kind of right there in the inner corner a little bit over the color that we already did and just really buff that out on the inner corner go big with it just make sure that that highlight is blended into the skin I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of this color oak here and just blend that into the corner of the eye just to add a little more darkness and definition in the crease even though you can see in the palette it actually looks lighter than the velvet color I knew it was still going to give a little bit more darkness and definition if you just really pack it into the crease of the eye. What I'm going to do now is grab the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist and just spritz that onto my brush and then I'm going to be careful to just go right on the edge. I always get afraid that if I put setting mist on my shadows they'll kind of go hard and I'm just going to use this wet just on the outer corner of the eye just for a little more impact. That's what I do with a lot of my metallic pressed shadows. If you just kind of add a setting spray to a brush, you can get a lot more color impact when it's wet with the setting spray. Another way you can do it is just dip straight into the product and then spritz. I'm just gonna add Dose, the middle of the lid. Just going over what we've already done. If you ever do get setting spray on your shadow and it makes it harden, you can just grab a little mascara wand, buff it over the top of the shadow and it will come back to that fresh shadow again underneath. All I'm gonna do guys, actually you know what? I do wanna put a little bit of raw power underneath. So I'm gonna use this little Cosette pencil brush and just buff this underneath the eyes. You can kind of just make sure that that's all blended by lightly tapping the colors that you've put next to each other just kind of tapping them into each other i really like it i'm just going to use a little more of that feather and velvet and i'm just going to really blend the top of the eye bye and then of course i'm going to add some tattoo liner mascara and lashes but i'll do that off camera because you've all seen that before so be right back so I went ahead and applied some lashes and liner. These are the LA Splash Bodacious Lashes. And now, of course, I'm going to finish the face look with a little bit of Thunderstruck for highlight. I'm just super excited to have Thunderstruck in a palette because I always break my little shadows. The thing with them is that they're so soft and creamy and that's what makes it such a beautiful highlight. But my gosh, if you drop them, and that is exactly why that's one of the best selling highlights. Might even put a little on the cupid's bow and then I'm just gonna add a touch more to the inner corner. I'm gonna set the face and set the highlight with the locket spray. Lastly, I'm gonna finish the look with one of my favorite lip combos right now. This is Hilda from the Farm Sanctuary Collection and then Everlasting Glimmer Veil and Thunderstruck. Just gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit and then add a little bit of Thunderstruck through the middle. And now that we're on a roll with a lip, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of oak on this Smith 205 brush and just deepen the outer corners of the lip. So there we go guys, that is my finished look with the Kat Von D Mini Metal Matte. So just for reference, this is the original metal matte. So there are a few shades in there that have been popped into the mini metal matte so if you already have this one the only extra things that you're going to get in it are raw power dose um but flash synergy suede feather bone and velvet 
all of these ones are already in the original metal match and there's also of course the Thunderstruck which isn't in the original metal match. So if you already have the big one I would say you don't necessarily need the smaller one because you can get Dose, Raw Power and Thunderstruck singly but they are $21 each so it would actually be cheaper to just buy this and then you've got a nice little cushiony house for it so that your thunderstruck won't smash so i found these textures to be exactly the same as the original metal match of course you saw that i did get a medium amount of fallout from both the shimmery shadows and the matte darker shades as well. So I definitely recommend to do your eyes first foundation last so that you don't have to spend a little extra time redoing your concealer if you do get fallout. So personally, in my opinion, I think that this is a pretty fair price for $39. I know I'll, I saw a few comments in trend mood complaining about $39. Personally, I don't think that that is very much for a palette, especially the quality of Kat Von D products. I think that these are the perfect fall wintry colors, definitely a holiday palette for sure. I'm really happy with the color selection. If I could choose any of them, like obviously my favorite colors are Raw Power and Dose from the Metal Crush and they weren't in the original Metal Matte and, and you guys know I'm a sucker for red or warm colors. So I think that this would actually be a pretty good uh, learners introductory to color as well because I feel like these colors are still bold but they're not terrifying like some of the brighter greens and blues that were in the original metal matte for someone that doesn't wear much color let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're going to grab this one or pass on this one I was quite surprised that I actually really ended up loving that feather color and I don't think I used it from the original metal matte. It is a really pretty transition color, so don't be afraid of the baby yellow. So I'll leave the dates below of when this is going to be available and a link for purchase when it is available. And that's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys around for my next video.